Hey everyone, welcome to the Elixir Foundation series. So we're gonna do a Elixir Foundation uh, video series and in this episode right here, I'm gonna be introducing you guys to the project that we're gonna be covering. So first of all, let's understand the problem we're trying to solve. Um, you know, I feel that Elixir is an extremely powerful programming language and um, you know it's it is really the language of the future in terms of if you're doing web development or actually development of any kind there's a lot of thought uh, put into it and uh, basically i've been using it for about a year now um, to build the the, the codemy site and the platform running codemy um, and basically what we're going to do is we're going to walk you through the project and you know talk a little bit about the problem so it's not going to be a, a like an easy uh, you know, for beginners who never coded before, this is for someone like who has, you know, been working with Rails or JavaScript or any other programming language and they want to, they, they're curious about Elixir, they've been hearing about it and, you know, someone who's a little bit more experienced, um, you know, how they can get started with Elixir. Uh, we're going to make it as simple as possible, but, you know, there's a lot of concepts in Elixir that is, you know, quite a big change in terms of the mindset if you're coming from object-oriented programming languages like Ruby or, um, you know, if, you're, if you've done something with Node.js before, in terms of concurrency, there's a lot of differences from um, how Node does it and how Ruby does it. Um, you know, one of the fact about Elixir is it supports multi-cores like right out of the box. So you don't have, if you just write uh, your code based on the conventions and the tools that are provided by the Elixir programming language, your code will be automatically, uh, you know, run on all cores uh, because it's supported. Um, and that, you know, makes a lot of things really, really nice and powerful. That, that whole part, just that part right there where your code will automatically, out of the box, support multi-cores. Um, and as we progress into the project, I'll talk to you guys a little bit about why um, it's so useful to have multi-core support. Um, code wise as well as uh, you know deployment and all that stuff so um, so let's first discuss the project so let me talk a little bit about the problem that we had so you know that you know the the our site our codemy website is actually built um, using react um, but if you actually go and uh, you know disable uh, JavaScript you will see something pretty cool this whole thing right now is being rendered uh, on the server side, uh, as you can see here. I've already disabled JavaScript and I can go through and browse the videos. I can click on the sets and you know the things change accordingly. Everything works great. You can see here, there's no JavaScript running on this, um, on this site at all, like right now, because I've already disabled it with this Chrome extension. Um, you can see you know, all the pages are being rendered um, on the server side and which means you know I've got server side rendering basically working using Elixir um, and the whole reason why uh, I use Elixir for this is because I really don't want to have a node process running like I don't want to do server side rendering the traditional way which is you mount it in an express app and then you have to make changes to your code uh, I don't believe in that uh, that way at all uh, so I'll save the whole, you know, philosophy on server-side rendering for a different episode, not for the Elixir Foundation series. I'm just telling you guys, you know, what project we're going to be, what problem we're trying to solve. And then I'm going to walk you through this video series, how we're going to go about solving all that stuff. Um, so let's go over the code a little bit. So this is a plug, uh, using a plug router to kind of like um, route the request. And, uh, you know, there's a few things in here um, that make it a really good foundational project. It's, there's a lot of problems that once you break it down, um, forces you to dig into the really, uh, the concepts behind Elixir, like for example, gen server. Yeah, we're gonna cover gen server. So we're not just gonna cover like the syntax differences. Um, you know, if you're coming from Rails or Node or whatever, um, we're not just gonna cover the syntax. We're, we're gonna learn the syntax as we go. And we're gonna cover like some of the basic things in um, Elixir and for me you know it's always learning through a project is always the best way like this is one of the things that is a defining factor for codemy.net is everything is project based 
So um, you see the code here, you know, there's a caching layer that makes it so fast and you know, why, you know, all this code is here. What the hell is gen server? Um, how does it all work together? You know, why is this, why are all these modules here? So I'm, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to walk you guys through the whole process. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to generate a new project from scratch, um, an Elixir project, not a Phoenix project, an Elixir project. And then basically I'm going to show you guys how to create all of these code um, using the plug uh, library. Uh, but we, even before we go into the plug library, we, we'll talk about defining modules and what they're used for and why we use alias. You know, what's the point of having aliases and what's the point of having imports? You can see here what is import and all that stuff. So we'll learn all that as we go. Um, you know, and basically that's going to be um, the project that we're going to be covering uh, in this video series. So um, just a, a bit of a technical specification. This is a HTTP2 uh, server. Uh, so it's using Cowboy um, library as well. And it's also using Redis for all the caching purposes. So um, yeah, so you can dig in and you can see, so this is the, you know, the code for the rendering engine. Uh, and you can see here, it's just a gen server. Um, and you know, these are kind of like the pages that we have and uh, you know, as we dig into it, you'll understand why we have all these pages. Um, and this is a sitemap generator. And you know, basically, you know, the idea of this project is to um, allow any kind of React application to be mounted, and they don't have to worry about modifying any code on React on the front end side. You just write code for the browser. You focus on that, and this project basically takes care of. Um, you know, does all the rendering for you. It's just the magic that does, you know, server-side rendering without having to write a single line of JavaScript. So um, there's a few advantages, but I'll talk about that in a different video episode, uh, probably in the lab report that's going to be coming up uh, that I'm going to be recording pretty soon. So um, I'm going to wrap up this episode. You know, now you kind of like when you're browsing through the website, uh, you know, try disabling JavaScript and try clicking through. Um, and uh, you'll see it in effect. It'll, it'll actually be doing uh, everything, and then you you see that that's all actually Elixir code doing the work of rendering and all that stuff. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna talk to you guys about the architecture and the design, and you know how it all works together, um, and all the dependencies, and uh, how I'm actually doing the rendering. Um, you know, all that stuff uh, is going to be coming in the next episode. Uh, so actually, if you take through a look through here, you'll see very quickly um, that I'm using Croxy. Uh, where is it? Croxy. There we go. And uh, yeah, you can look it up and see how Croxy is. And it's actually using Chrome headless um, for doing all the rendering. But, you know, there's still quite a bit of code we have to write to make it all nice and work seamlessly. So yeah, uh, with that, I want to wrap up this episode. Hope you guys like it. Um, also check out our site. We have other video series, uh, Rails API, Rails Foundation, React, uh, Intermediate React Foundation. So if you're into any of that stuff, check out our site. Super cool uh, content. It's helped a lot of people. You know, we, we get people telling us all the time that, you know, we help them get jobs and help them get a project or a gig that they've been wanting. So with that, I want to wrap up this episode. I'll see you guys in the next one.